my friends, welcome back to part three, the big chop off. Here's the contestants for part three. Now let me just give a quick side note. Uh, get a lot of comments on the last couple chop off vids. Now, obviously a lot of the people didn't watch the preview. It was called uh, the big chop off contestants where I explained the rules and how I was gonna do stuff. Blade length between eight and 11 inch max. It has to be thicker than a machete. It can't be too thin. So, hence why the chance in hell is not in this. Uh, then people are asking, hey, what about the SXB or something like that? Now, unfortunately, I didn't own that one. I borrowed that from my friend Chris for the test. So, I'm only going to show what I own. And if you watch the preview, what I showed in the preview is going to be in the chop-off. And everybody's like, oh, come on, BK9, BK9. It's coming, guys. Okay, let's get down to business. Here's the contestants for this session of part three. On the left, the Bud K Rough Use Knife, or Night Ranger, Potato, Potato, whatever you want to call the damn thing. The next one, Sog Tiger Shark Elite. Uh, next to that is the Ontario SP-10. I've never actually tested that. I've used it, but I never did a test vid. That's Miss Tax Knife, which I will do a review of that. Next to that, everybody knows that thing. That's Chris Tanner's Knife, Jessica X. I think it's called uh, the 43. And then next to that, the Blackjack Tac Ops 8. I know what you're thinking. Man, that big ass trade, that's got to win this one just because it's the biggest. And that's not always true. The last one was that the Condor Dundee was the biggest. And that thing wasn't that great. It all comes down to the design of the knife. It really does. Uh, all the blades have been touched up, so none of them are dull. I didn't bring, it, I didn't bring them to like 80,000 grit, like I said in the last one, but I did sharpen all of them. Time for the 10 chop test, let's do it. We'll start off on the smaller wood first, then we'll move up to the bigger stuff. Uh, we'll do regular handheld grip, 10 shots. Start with the old Bud K knife, let's see how this goes. Yeah, You definitely get a lot less power holding it like that than you do like this. Let's do it. knocking shit down earlier somebody said something about oh seemed like you were swinging harder on purpose with a different knife the only reason it kind of seems like that sometimes is if the knife knife is lighter it's not going to have as much mass so one plus two equals three guys tiger shark time right here let's do it I kept putting a lot of the shots in the same spot. Son of a bitch. Well, that's why we do this twice. Time for Jessica X, let's do it. I know this thing's gonna get a ton more power when you go back here. But right here, let's see how she does. Not bad. Time for the tech ops. first swing I kind of glanced it I don't know if I should take another one or because that first one I kind of just skimmed it like that I will do one more not that it's going to do a bunch but there you go yeah, move these knives out of the way a little bit SB 10's turn let's do it Not bad, but I thought it would do a little bit more. Hey, there's a reason why I do this stuff more than once. Just to make sure. But okay. Night Ranger, start off with that one. Actually pretty friggin' good. I was impressed with that. For being just an eight inch blade, that was pretty awesome. Tiger Shark, man. 
That, that almost seems like it beat it out by a hair. I know I was putting a lot of the shots in the same spot, which kind of sucked. So that might have been my bad, but that's why we're going to do this more than once. Uh, Jessica X. Pretty badass. I thought it would. That's a crevice. Uh, this is probably the biggest surprise, though. The next one I'm going to show you. Check out this. And the little blackjack. Dude, that's one of the smallest knives. That thing did awesome. It's got to be because that friggin' convex. It works really freaking good. That was almost equal. That looks a hair deeper. This might have just edged out the blackjack, but not by much. And then the last one, uh, the SP10, did really good. I don't know. Man, this is tough. Wish I had like a gauge or something. Because just looking at this, it's tough to see which one did the best. Either Jessica X, I'll let you guys judge. There's Jessica X, and here's the SB10. Wow. Just flip this log over to see from the other side. Just because a lot of them are so close, I was trying to really get. Now, from this angle, it tells a little bit more. There's the blackjack. Freaking awesome. Jessica X, it did do a hair better. Okay. Then the next two, but the one that really is a big difference on the other side is this one. And that's that SP10. And that looks like it's the biggest. So from the regular handheld position, so far I'd have to put the SP10 first, and then Jessica X, and then the blackjack. Now we'll do the same thing, this with a bigger piece. And this time we're going to go in a row with what it looked like before. Then we get to see it, if it does gradually get better or not. So this seemed like it was the worst with the regular handheld. Now I really can't do much of a three. I guess I could. Ooh, this is gonna freaking hurt. I'm just gonna go all the way back like this. 10 shots. Ooh, that bit in nice. Shit. It's funny, it's, it's like it breaks the skin good, but then when it gets to here, it doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. What the hell? Time for the old Bud K knife, the old $9 Rattly. Badass mofo. Same thing, scoop my hand back, 10 shots. Yeah, definitely, it does edge it out just by a hair. Blackjack action. swings on my part still pretty deep but yeah I had two way over there damn it now this is where this thing's gotta shine man with your hand way back there it's almost like a two-hander it's really close well let's give it a shot That did some damage. SP10 time. Man, I'm getting tired already because I'm pretty much swinging as hard as I can. So I'm not gonna go off of it. I'm just gonna go all the way back. Same thing as I did with the other knives. Okay, unfortunately I was going around it like that because I was going up a hill, hence why my angle was changing. But I can still show you. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. The old uh, Bud Kit, no, that's the Tiger Shark. And the old Bud K knife beat it out. Look at that. How funny is that? Then next the Blackjack, that definitely crushed this. Check it out, oh yeah. And Jessica X. I knew it would shine when you put your hand all the way back, but still, I think it barely edged that out, the old SB10. So, what have we learned so far? Well, in the regular handheld, the SB10 was a little bit better. But then in the other handheld position, when your hand way back, Jessica X was better. But boy, this little blackjack is awesome. Time to do some downward chops. Start off with the tiger shark, put our hand all the way back, get as much power as we can. Because the reason I like doing this is it does act a little differently. 
you know this kind of shows you what will baton good too going with the grain because it is totally different than going against the grain so let's try it pretty much as hard as I can every time I'll get some blisters wow that almost bounced off man oh it did and I freaking swang that one hard what the fuck excuse my French there we go now I think I pulled a muscle in my arm <laughs> Cause I'm really trying to send it, man. I'm trying to make it stick. Yeah, it's starting to. I gotta use more, make sure I use more of the end, you know, where the belly is. Yeah, it's kind of going good. It, eh, it's, it's just eh. Time for the $9 beater. I think it's funny. So far, this has been outshining that $180 freaking knife. I know that's a combat knife. I know it's not a survival knife, more like this. But it's still, that's a 9-inch blade. This is an 8-inch. Let's do it. Ooh, that actually kind of bounced off, too. Oh. Oh, look at it. See? I had to say something. I'm shit-talking. Pretending like I know what I'm saying. It, well, it did against the grain. It seemed like it chopped better. But now, with the grain, it's pretty lame. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, man. It's just bouncing off, man. Okay, this is definitely suckier going with the grain. A little bit bigger piece. Oh, well. Blackjack, let's do it. Wow, that almost kind of bounced. How the fuck? I must be just swinging like a woman today. No, ex no uh, disrespect to my ladies out there. What the fuck? Man, I'm swinging this. This wood must be, it might not be uh, maple, it must be like titanium. Man, get the, wow, this knife is awesome and all of a sudden, beep, hey, it bit in. Everybody clap for the blackjack. What the fuck? There it goes. I got to get it more to bite the edge. It's going just like this into it. It's, man, it's sharp as shit. What the hell? There we go. You gotta swing like a man. I guess so. That's what you gotta do to make this stick like this. But this is a big ass piece of wood. Jessica X. Man, this thing better stick in or Chris is gonna get pissed at me. I'm gonna try my best, man. Here we go. The only thing that gets me about this knife, I do like this knife, but like I said in my review, this is more of a specialty knife and it's got a negative angle blade. See how it goes down? And that's the only thing that kind of gets to me. A lot of people like it. For me, it's a little weird, though. But let's do it. Wow, that actually bounced. There we go. Then it sank in. I had to put it to it a little bit. I got swing. Man, what the hell? There we go. It does have some power. But you got to... Holy shit. There we go. It's got to be this wood, man. It's not the same identical tree as the last test, but it's off the same bundle. It was right next to it, and it was actually smaller. <sighs> wow, it might just be this wood. <sighs> wow, that did sink in pretty good, though. Check out the belly. Yeah, it, holy crap. My poor hands. Nice. SB10, well, let's see if this thing has a tendency to bounce off this titanium wood. Wow, it actually did. I swear to God, this wood is, what the hell? What is up with this freaking log? Here we go. Yeah, cause this one, I don't know, that sweeping belly, bellies just seem to sink in, going with the grain. Like that, it just, they just sink in. Now, I gotta say one thing. This thing's freaking hurting me. The hell? Yeah, it doesn't seem. Eh, it's close, but I think the Jessica X sank in a tiny bit better. I don't know, you can see the proof for yourself. Shit. So there you go, there's part three. That's the order I kind of rank them in. Uh, now, with the grain, we were definitely having some problems, weren't we? Yes, you had to hit it just right and really hard to make it sink. But the one that sank in the best, 
had to be uh, Jessica X, just by a hair. It just was. Uh, this is a funny thing. Those two on the end, the two right ones, were very, very close all the way through. Uh, the blackjack was probably, besides the downward chops on that piece of titanium, that thing had to be the biggest surprise, though. It's one of the smallest, and it works really well. Just really good design. That tiger shark, yep, it's just a fighting knife. Don't really bring that out in the woods. It just doesn't seem to work. That little $9 knife, that thing kicks a lot of ass, doesn't it? So, yeah, it came down to the two on the right. And going with the grain, obviously, Jessica acts. Going against the grain depends on where your hand was. Regular handheld position, the SB10 worked a hair better. In the backhand position, Jessica X worked a hair better. So, man, those two were like neck and neck. But I got to give just that tiny slight edge to the shrade. So, Jessica X will be going into the finals. Thanks, as always, for hanging out with your brother, Tack. And stay tuned for part four. And until the next time we meet.